Hello Agents and welcome back to another Division build video. This is my Assault Rifle Crit Damage build. I use this in the raid to do any kind of ad phases in between bosses. Challenge missions, it absolutely wipes the floor with them. Heroics, I, I do change my skills around if I'm doing heroics, but again it's absolutely brilliant for them as well. It does depend on your playstyle, um, but because obviously there is no survivability in this build. It's only got 182k armor and 27k health. But it hits like a truck. Most things are dead before they get a chance to shoot you. So I'm going to go into it guys and uh, you can let me know what you think. First of all we'll go over the stats. Weapon damage is 22.5. PvP weapon damage which we're not interested in is 15.5. Just shy of the 60% crit hit chance with 128% crit hit damage. We've got 56% headshot damage. We've got a 2.2 second reload time, which is pretty good. We've got a 12% reload bonus. So we do have a couple of yellow mods in there. A small accuracy bonus and 40% stability bonus. We are rocking 12.5% all weapon damage bonus with 42% Assault Rifle bonus and 79% damage to elites. We're using the Eagle Burrow, but obviously you could use whichever gun you're into at the moment. But there's a key reason we're using the Eagle Burrow because we want to be able to take advantage of the talent where we don't take any damage. For the specialization, we're going with the TAC-50 and Sharpshooter for the extra accuracy for our weapons. For the gun, as I mentioned before, we're going with the Eagle Burrow. And the reason we're going with the Eagle Burrow is because of the tenacity skill that comes with it. 40 to 80% of damage taken is delayed until the next buff expires. So we're killing things that quick with this build. And we're on the move quite a lot. This is key. So we want some of this. Second weapon, go with whatever you like. I'm essentially running this vector though for overlap for some extra accuracy. Pistol, again, whatever you like. I'm running for in rhythm, but maybe go stop, drop, and roll. Protected reload, perhaps. They're both very nice. Protected reload could be a good idea, and I'll explain why in a little bit. We're running with three piece DNH. This build would be completely possible though with three piece wyvern to switch in a few things about. On my punch drunk, we've got the, first of all, the brand set bonus, 5% accuracy, 10% critical hit damage, and 7% critical hit chance. We've got 5.5% critical hit chance on here with 54% damage to elites. Obviously, because it's the named variant, it's got perfect concussion on. Headshots grant 20% headshot damage for two seconds. Uh, and that is it. We'll ignore the next bit because we're using an assault rifle. Requires seven or more, but certainly not a problem with this build. Next, I'm using a Wyvern chest piece. I'm using 7% critical hit damage because we've only got one piece here. I've got 19% critical hit damage on here. I would like this to be a little bit higher. 5% critical hit chance and 8% weapon damage. Anything higher than any of these obviously be better but obviously I'd like the critical hit chance maybe to be a little bit higher but definitely the critical hit damage. I'm using Vigilance which is a little bit controversial. Some people would prefer Berserk here but I find that I kill things that quick it is certainly nicer having the permanent 25% weapon damage and that's why I mentioned before it might be worth having Protected Reload because with Protected Reload it gives you bonus armor and if you take a shot in that bonus armor and as long as it doesn't deplete it you don't lose this buff so if you're in any kind of bonus armor from aces or protected reload or if you was using the eagle burrow as your secondary weapon and you're in bonus armor while firing vigilance won't go away if you as long as that bonus armor isn't depleted so that's something to think about guys i'm using this in the raid more often than not and i always have aces with me so i'm in bonus armor a lot of the time but take your pick, and like I say, I've run it in challenge missions and heroics, and again, I feel like this is up most of the time, but take your pick. 
Perhaps run Berserk here if you prefer Berserk. Personal preference. Mod slots, you're just going to go for either Assault Rifle damage or Critical Hit Chance, depending on whereabouts your build is up to. I've got two 4% Critical Hit Chance in here with a very small percentage of weapon damage in here as well. There's some Crit Hit damage in here as well. But these are the three talents that you want to stack up as much as you can. Crit Hit Chance first. Obviously this, damage, this build isn't worth anything if you're not at 60%. So get yourself to 60% and then start piling on the damage after that. Next the Holster. DNH again to complete our three piece bonus. Got 16% crit hit damage on here with critical a further 15% crit hit damage. It's a util mod so I've got, I'm have got i rocking a 6% reload speed. Just to essentially give myself more uptime on my assault rifle. Next we're on an Alps Summit Backpack. That gives us 20% skill haste, which we're not really too fussed about. I've got 11% crit hit chance on here and 12% crit hit damage. And I wish I could have modified these the other way around so I could have got higher crit hit damage out of that. But unfortunately not. But it's certainly hard enough getting hard hitting and spark to roll together on a backpack. And these are the two I wanted. Hard hitting is the most important. You could live without spark if you really had to. Hard hitting is obviously now 25% damage to elites, where Spark is damaging enemies with your skills or explosives, grants 15% weapon damage for 15 seconds. But we all know that you can shoot weak points and various other things to, uh, to proc Spark, so definitely worth having. And depending on what skills I'm running, for if I'm running in the raid or if I'm running heroics or challenging, I might actually have a skill on anyway that will be constantly proccing this for me. Util mod, another 6% reload speed mod. I've actually got a 7 now, so I should update this. But essentially, again, just for more uptime on your assault rifle. My offensive, I'm running 5% crit hit damage in here with 1% crit hit chance. Again, just to buff my crit hit damage because that is what this build is all about. Gloves, and this is where the important talent is. So we've got one piece Fenris because obviously it's a no brainer. It gives us 10% assault rifle damage. I've got 12% assault rifle damage in the attributes. I could now run that at 13 because of the Mother I Love gloves with 5% critical hit chance. The talent this build is really working around uh, isn't the chest piece for once and isn't the chest talent. It's obliterate and depleting an enemy's armor grants 30% critical hit damage for 15 seconds. It's a very long time. So that adds 30% extra on top of what we see in here. 128 so it brings me up to 158 percent critical hit damage which is a lot of damage and you start seeing crazy 300 400k shots coming out of your assault rifle things start to melt and that's where this build comes in so obviously there's a little bit of tactics to be running with this if you see an enemy that has got armor and you've not got to obliterate up hit that one first Then we'll move to the knee pads. 8% critical hit chance on these and composure. Again, just get yourself in cover and get even more damage still. Offensive mod slot. I've actually got 5% AI damage on this with a 1% weapon damage bonus. Could be a better mod, but it's pretty much doing the job I need. Now look at the skills. So I do change my skills around depending on what I am running. If I am in the raid, I will use the Assault Drone and the Reviver Hive. This so that I've got Spark up at all times. Reviver Hive is just an extra precaution. If I am in Heroics, I tend to run the Defender Drone because they're actually harder than the raid. So I'll go Defender Drone and Revive Hive just to make sure I'm not basically being problematic for the rest of my team members if I'm starting going down too much. And I'm if in challenging content, I will run the assault drone and then anything else of your choice. Maybe sometimes the assault turret. Don't tend to need the reviver hive, but again, it depends how you feel about the build, how comfortable you are running it, because you know, we're not the tankiest, but when you start seeing them, huge numbers start popping out of the enemy's heads. 
then all of a sudden you think, wow, this build is really, really good. And that is it for this build video, guys. Please do hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Hit the bell so you can get more notifications for when I do upload videos. I try and upload at least three or four videos a week. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Have you built this build better? Have you got more damage? Have you got more armor? Have you got more health? Do let me know. If you've tried it and you like it, if you tried it and you don't like it, let me know why. Thanks for tuning in, guys. You can catch me streaming most days over on Twitch, twitch.tv slash DJ Tickle. We're doing raid help over there, giving away EBs, uh, DZ runs when there's something good in the DZ. And very recently, we have started to put together hardcore groups to hopefully get eight of us to the end and be able to run a raid on hardcore. Thanks again, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.